We're in Windows Server 8, and I'm going to show you how to change the authentication methods in a routing remote access server, typically used for VPN, PPTP, various different types. Just open up routing and remote access, right-click on the server, click on the security tab. From here, under authentication provider, click the authentication methods. From here, we have various different options. The first one is extensible authentication protocol. This is used when you uh, set up a network access protection server. Uh, network access protection is a service in Windows Server 8 as well as 2008 that will check a server to make sure it has an up-to-date antivirus client or other options that you say must be in place before it allows you to get access to a Windows network. The second one is MS Chat version 2. This is the default standard for authenticating a VPN user and should definitely be checked. You also have encrypted authentication chat. This is the older version prior to around Windows 2000 and older if you have a really old client that requires the use of chat because it doesn't support chat 2 then you would check this one. You also have unencrypted password. This sometimes works with clients that are having problems with the encryption. Possible their TCP IP stack is corrupted on the client. Uh, so it also happens sometimes with older versions of Macintosh and unpatched versions of Windows Vista. The allow machine certificate authentication for Ike version 2. This is for some third party applications. If you have uh, things such as a Sonic Wall or a Cisco client on your computer and that's how you want to authenticate, then you would use the allow machine certificate as uh, one of the options. And then uh, unauthenticated access, that's if everything else is not working, then allow remote access uh, systems to connect without authentication. Typically, you'd only use this for troubleshooting to see whether or not the VPN piece is broken or whether it's uh, on the server or whether it's a client issue. So if you check this box and it's the only way you can get in, then typically the PC or the computer that you're connecting from is having problems and should be updated or repaired. If you still can't get in even with authentication turned, off, turned on, then that typically means that there's something wrong with the server and the server needs to get repaired. Uh, when done, you can go ahead and click OK to all those different options and then apply.